he's a very respected person. And he's so respected by the other players. They idolize him. And uh, he's going to be back. I have no doubt about it. He's going to be back. Former President Trump tonight predicting we will see yet another Tiger Woods come back in the near future. By the way, Woods took a lot of heat for accepting the Medal of Freedom from uh, President Trump following his triumphant victory in the 2019 Masters Tournament. So let's begin tonight. Our panel discussion on that note with Washington Examiner national political reporter Selena Zito and American Conservative Union Chairman Matt Schlapp. Great to have you both with us tonight. Great to be with you. I want to read something from the Baltimore Sun, the editorial board, after Tiger Woods showed up and got that medal from President Trump. They said, Mr. Woods has made his choice, and part of his legacy will be embracing a man who incited bigotry and racism. Uh, Selena, there were people today who, after Tiger Woods' accident and injuries, which seemed very serious, were on Twitter saying, this is kind of what you get for hanging out with President Trump, that kind of stuff. I mean, what, why is everything uh, so rancorous in the world of politics and sports? Well, a part of the problem, why we have this problem, is that, po that politics is in everything we do, whether it's sports or the food that we eat or the television shows that we want, that we watch. We sort of can't escape politics. But Tyra Woods, throughout his career, has really done a great job of not stepping into politics. He's really kept politics out of his personnel, uh, uh, out of sort of his persona. And, you know, one of the things that people sort of loved about Tiger Woods' comeback in 2019 was that despite all of his personal problems, his personal injuries, uh, and uh, people found that people came together, even people that criticized him, when he had that moment, because he earned his way back. And I think that's why... Uh, you'll see this on Twitter, but you might not see this in the, you know, in sort of daily communication. In the real world. Yeah. Yeah, we like to think of Twitter and the real world as what they are, which is which are two different things. Um, not everybody does love a comeback story, and, and whether you were a fan of Tigers or not, I mean, Americans generally cheer for someone like this, and I'm sure they will be again, just as the president is tonight. Yeah, yes. absolutely. I think everybody wishes... Uh, the best for Tiger Woods. And I think this cancel culture where everybody uh, is attacked uh, simply for standing aside Donald Trump is really ridiculous. The fact is these two men have had big, amazing, successful lives and, the, and they have a relationship. They have a friendship. You know, Jack Nicholas is a Republican. He never gets attacked for being a Republican. Arnold Palmer, another great golfer, was a strong Republican. Ben Crenshaw uh, protested during the recount in 2000 in Florida for George W. Bush. Uh, they didn't get criticized for their politics. Why does Tiger Woods get criticized for his politics? And I agree with Selena. He's not even showing politics. He's just showing friendship. And if the president of the United States can't hold up our heroes, including in the on the sports fields uh, for young men and women to uh, to appreciate, then uh, then that's really a terrible thing. And I think this cancel culture. It is a cancer in our society. We're calling CPAC this year America Uncanceled. We have got to stop making it a crime to be a Republican. So let's talk about CPAC since that's where you're at. And the president is going to get a lot of attention speaking this weekend, sort of his first big major foray onto the political stage. People wondering, is he going to announce that he's running in 2024? What is he going to say about the party in the future and that kind of thing? Newsweek saying this says, although analysts have described tensions within the Republican Party as a civil war, Trump's GOP critics will not be given a platform to share their perspective during the event. Now, Matt, is that a conscious choice to have people who uh, are not the president's supporters speaking or you tell us? Well, no, not at all. I mean, we're going to have over 100 people speak. Uh, I'm sure some of them, uh, they're going to speak their mind, Shannon. I don't ask people what they're going to say ahead of time. We don't ask for their speeches or their remarks. Uh, we've had so many moments in CPAC history where people have, you know, said things that were unexpected, and I'm sure that'll happen again. That being said, um, uh, we're focusing on conservative members of Congress and conservative conservatism generally, and Donald Trump had a great conservative record. And by the way, that record was so strong that it lifted up people who aren't normally associated with the Republican Party. And I think the key for the Republican Party going forward is 
to stop trying to push people outside our coalition and start encouraging people to stay within our coalition. Whether Donald Trump is a candidate or not in 2024, we want these voters. And there's Republicans, and there are conservatives that don't consider themselves Republicans, there are libertarians, and then there are all these new MAGA voters, mm -hmm. some of yes. whom were never involved in politics before. If we don't hold this all together, sure. we'll never put another conservative on the Supreme Court. Uh, quickly, Zelina, what, what do you look for from the president's speech this weekend? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really interested to see what he has to say in terms of um, the future, the, what he's, how he's going to participate in this new conservative populist coalition that's put, that, that came along with him, to Matt's point. And, you know, coalitions always have tensions within them. They all, there's always different parts that don't 100 percent agree with everything. But I'm mm -hmm. interested in what he has to say. I'm also interested in what the senators and the governors and the former cabinet members have to say. CPAC is this unique event where most of the people attending are 25 and under, young conservatives. Mm -hmm. So it gives young. you a look into the future. Yeah, and I think a lot of people are looking to see where conservatives and the GOP go moving forward. So a lot of eyeballs on that event this weekend with the former president. Selena and Matt, great to see you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.